Hello everyone, welcome to Yedna Investment Academy. Today we are going to discuss how to use digital wallets. How do they work? We will see how to send money and request money and shop with your digital wallets. Working of all digital wallets is similar. If we understand one, we can easily understand all others. Today we will take an example in detail of Paytm, which has the maximum market share. You can access Paytm through both app and web. We will focus on app and will keep on discussing web in between. We will discuss the complete working of Paytm in following steps. First, installation and sign up. Second, how to add money in wallet. Third, various ways to pay and send money through Paytm. Fourth, how to utilize other features of Paytm such as shopping and paying bills. Fifth, how to avail cashbacks and offers. Sixth, what are the restrictions and charges of using Paytm. Seventh, how to receive payment. Eighth, understanding the Paytm passbook. Let's start with installation and sign up. For Paytm app, you can go to your Google Play Store or Apple App Store and search for Paytm. Install the Paytm app and then open it. You will need to select the language of your choice and give few approvals to get things started. After approvals, you will reach Paytm's homepage, which looks like this. Here you can see that you can do multiple transactions, recharge phone, pay bills, send or receive money, etc. Before understanding how to do these things, it is important to sign up or create your account. Click on any icon and you will be prompted to sign up. Sign up by entering your phone number and password and few other personal info. After sign up, you can start using the app. You can also sign up at their website that is paytm.com and many transactions are possible there too. We will keep on discussing about them in due course. Second non-mandatory step is to add money to your wallet. You can add money through your credit card, debit card or online banking. It is not mandatory to add money to wallet as whenever you make any transaction on app, you can directly pay by credit debit card or online banking at that time too. But adding money to wallet in advance helps you to do the transactions much faster. You can do this step at their website too. In case you do not have any of these options, you can still add money by going to ICICI or access bank branches and add cash or deposit check through pay in slips by putting your phone number in account number space and name of account as Paytm. Now let's discuss the third and most important step that is to pay or send money to physical stores or family or friends. For that you need to click on pay icon here and there are four ways of payment. Three of these can be done only through app and last one can be done by calling a toll free number where no smartphone or internet is needed. One point to note here is you cannot pay or send money through Paytm's website. Now let's discuss all four ways in detail. First way is when you are in a physical store where Paytm is accepted, you would see such stickers with QR codes. So when you tap on pay button, your camera will open with which you can scan this merchant code, then enter the amount and tap pay. If you have sufficient balance in your Paytm wallet, money will be successfully paid. If you do not have sufficient balance, you will be redirected to the payment details page where you can add money in your payment wallet and then pay. Confirmation SMS will be sent to you as well as the vendor or merchant. Second way to pay or send money is by clicking here and entering the phone number of the receiver and enter the amount and transaction will be done and you both will get the confirmation SMS. Then there is a third option that is by using a code. For this way you need to ask the merchant or shopkeeper for pay with Paytm. Share your mobile number to the merchant and merchant will ask for OTP. To share OTP from the app, click here on show code option and share the code mentioned with the merchant. Both you and merchant will receive the confirmation of payment. 
The fourth way to send money is by newly introduced method that is offline method. This method is suitable for person who do not have a smartphone or phone data access or both. For this method of payment, you already should have created a Paytm account and should have enough money in your Paytm wallet to transfer through the ways already discussed earlier. Call on 1800-1800-1234 toll free number via your registered phone number in your Paytm account. Now your call will be disconnected and you will get a call from Paytm in few seconds. For the first time, you need to set up a PIN for your safety. After the PIN setup is completed, enter the mobile number of the Paytm user you want to send money to and after that enter the amount you want to send. You and receiver will receive transaction confirmation SMS on your respective mobile phones. That is all you have to do for sending money without using the internet and smartphone. In the next topic, let's discuss what other things you can do on Paytm app as well as Paytm website. You can do mobile recharge by clicking here and entering these details. Or you can pay utility bills, school fees, insurance premium etc. This is how the screen will look like when you want to pay your electricity bill. Similarly, you can also book your flights, train or bus or movie tickets on Paytm. You can shop on Paytm's marketplace which is very similar to Flipkart or Amazon. You can also pay through Paytm wallet on various other apps or websites like you can book Uber cabs and pay by Paytm on Uber's app. Similarly when you buy stuff on apps or website of Big Basket, Zomato, Urban Clap or Pepper Fry and many others online websites and you will see option to pay by Paytm as well. Now next topic is to remember to use Paytm's cashback offers or other discounts. Always remember to check offers by clicking here before buying anything on Paytm. If you like any offer, do put that coupon code at checkout to get the cashback or other discounts. Paytm generally advertise these coupon codes widely as well. Next topic is to understand the transaction limits as well as transaction charges. With Paytm, you cannot transact that is send or receive money of more than Rs 20,000 per calendar month. This limit actually was increased recently by RBI. Before demonetization, it was Rs 10,000 only. Also, you cannot keep more than Rs 20,000 amount in your wallet at one time. But you can increase this limit to Rs 1 lakh if you do KYC with Paytm. KYC means know your customer which can be done by calling Paytm to collect your address proof copy or visiting KYC center listed on their website. There are no transaction charges on Paytm on shopping, paying bills or sending money to other Paytm users or receiving money. But there is a charge of 4% for sending money back to your bank account for non-KYC customers and a charge of 1% for KYC customers. Remember both these charges are waived off till 31st December 2016 due to Prime Minister's push towards digital payments. And also both these charges would also go if Paytm start their payment bank operations which could be very soon. Now let's understand how to receive money through Paytm. Simplest way is to give your phone number to sender and he or she can transfer the money by ways discussed already. But if you are a small vendor or shopkeeper and need to receive payments on daily basis, then you can do following. First is, if your usage is less than the limits discussed in previous topic, then you can just go to accept payments and print this QR code which customers can scan and pay you. Or you can reach out to Paytm and register yourself as a merchant. Get the paperwork done and you can accept unlimited money. Last topic is to know all your historical transaction status. For that click on passbook and you can see your available balance and status of all your historical transactions. From here you can send your wallet money back to your bank as well by clicking here and putting your account information. Remember this is subject to charges we discussed earlier. All other digital wallet apps work in a very similar way. 
only difference is the kind of cashbacks and discounts each one is giving if you have any question on paytm or any other digital wallet app please do write that in the comment section below with that we close this topic have an awesome day ahead